Okay, so you're going to calculate um, in the first one, just like the video from spreadsheet solving. And so we'll calculate the slope. As you notice, you're going to uh, do the weight okay, and have that, add those up, and then divide by the change in x. Okay, so there's that formula. Okay, the slope, you just do a slope formula for those two. But remember to do the, um, uh, the weight first, so the y over the x. Okay. And so then you can also use the exact same range to do the intercept. All right. And then once you have that, remember what she said. She said use the dollar sign, uh, dollar sign H. So actually, you're going to put in, figure out, well, what should it have been? In other words, what you're doing is you're saying, it's true that Roger Federer is uh, at 6 foot 1, right? So uh, 73 inches. And he weighs 187. But according to the data, okay, the, the average of all the players, when you put in that line, he should be a little bit lighter. He's a little bit heavier than the normal person would be. And if you look then, you see some people like Andy Murray. Uh, Andy Murray's just five more what he should be. And you suspect maybe uh, the reason for this is that you put the men and women together. And in putting the men and women together to get an ideal tennis player, maybe the men tend to be a little bit heavier uh, than, than the line of perfect fit. And the women uh, seem to be lighter. So let's see if we can do the same thing for this data from the... Uh, uh, EO, EOC that we had. So we say, okay, we're going to go in here and we're going to say, we're going to put the uh, y over the x. So we're going to say equals slow. Okay. And then the region that we want is uh, B3 to B10. Okay. And we want to then calculate the slope of B3, B10 as compared to A3 a10. So what's the slope of the line? So we say 0.2. In other words, in other words, 0.2 is how things have um, gone up per decade. So for every uh, every 10 years, is that true? Every 10 years, it's gone up 0.2. Well, no, I guess every year it's gone up 0.2. So every 10 years, it's gone up. The life expectancy has gone up two years. So let's see if that's true. Uh, so over 80 years, life expectancy has gone up 16. So yeah, about a fifth. So slope is one fifth. All right. So and that's that's what we found out if you, if you just looked at the data. Okay. So now we want to do the next one, which is intercept. So oh, you got to put the um, equal sign in there. So intercept, and then the same thing, right? We want to do the intercept of B3, B10 comma, and then we want to do that um, related to A3 colon A10. 62.7. Okay, so now we have to figure out, well, what, if we fit perfectly in the line, what would the data be at each point? Okay, so we're going to say, okay, it equals, okay, so remember MX plus B, so our uh, M is going to be whatever is in F2. So we're going to do a dollar sign F2. Actually, we want dollar sign 2. So we want to use oh, F3, dollar sign F3. So we want to use that slope, slope times A3. So slope times A3, and then plus plus the intercept, right? So we're going to have this like base age of 62.7. Uh, right? So we do uh, the slope times the number of years plus, and that's going to also be dollar sign, dollar sign F, dollar sign 4. Okay. And we say, okay, so, and, and then it'll even fill it in for us. Okay, so you see if we went in a perfect line, this is where we would be. So uh, actual measurements don't give you quite that, right? So we're going to highlight this and see if we can insert a chart. And so we're going to insert a chart. And we want to do a scatter plot. And 
and we do have the scatter chart, and you see that it's very close, right? So the uh, best fit line is almost on that, right? So it was very close, right? And that's what we need to do for the assignment. All right, and so uh, we're going to work on this more and more to find out this idea of best fit line. And in other words, we also see it's a rising line, right? So as we went from 1930, what was the relationship? Well, as time went by, life expectancy increased. Okay, that's not always true, right? There are times uh, in the world when life expectancy has decreased. There was a negative correlation between the advance of time and and certainly there are other things for which um, you have that negative correlation. But this is a positive correlation, and in fact, a very strong positive correlation. Okay. Now, one of the questions that you'll get asked is, well, was it caused by time going on? Well, of course, time passing didn't make people live longer. It was that during the time passing, there were advancements in public health. So, for example, there was... Uh, advancements in finding penicillin and other um, antibiotics so that people wouldn't die of pneumonia as they often did in the past. Okay, so people still do, but not nearly as often as in the past because of the ability to fight that infection. Okay, so, it, so that's something we'll talk about as well causation versus correlation. Okay, and then that's it.